Let's do synthetic division. Instead of using long division to divide, we're going to use synthetic division. So the first thing you see I did was I made half a box right here. Now what I do is I look here. I take the opposite of what I see. I see a negative 3, so the opposite of negative 3 is a positive 3. And I write that number right here. Then I look at just the numbers, not the variables, just the numbers. And I write those in here. So there's a 1 here, so that 1 goes there. The 1 here goes here, and then negative 14. You see that I wrote those in order. Now my next step is I bring this first number straight down. Doesn't matter what the number is, it just comes straight down. Then my next step is to take 3 times this 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. Now this number goes right here, and then I add down. 1 plus 3 is 4. Then I continue to do what I did for the first one. I'm going to take 3 times 4. So 3 times 4 is 12, and that's the number that I'm going to write here, a plus 12. Now I add down. Negative 14 plus 12 is negative 2. So let's see how that's going to work. So let's recall when we were doing long division that we took x squared divided by x. x squared divided by x is x, and that was our first part of our answer. Well, it's also the first part here. Now this is not the exponent, it's the coefficient. So this is actually 1x plus 4. Now this part is my remainder, okay? So remember, rewrite that as plus negative 2 over this guy, x minus 3, okay? So let me rewrite that one more time. It's going to be x plus 4 plus negative 2 over x minus 3. And this will be my answer. Now some instructors in some books will say minus 2 over x minus 3. Those are the same answer. And you just did synthetic division. Instead of using long division, let's use synthetic division. So the first thing I did was I made this half box right here. Now what I do is I look here and I write the opposite of what I see. Since I see a positive one, I'm going to write a negative one. Then what I write in here is my numbers, not the variables, just the numbers. So this is a 1, this is a negative 1, this is a negative 1, and this is a 4. What I do is I bring this number straight down. Doesn't matter what the number is, it comes straight down. Now my next step is to take negative 1 times 1. So negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. And this number goes right here. And then I add down. Well, negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. Okay, then I'm going to do just like I did before. I'm going to take negative 1 times negative 2. And I'm going to get negative 1 times negative 2, which is 2. Now that number goes right here, and I'm going to add down again. Negative 1 plus 2 is a positive 1. And of course we do it again. Negative 1 times 1, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, and this negative 1 goes right here. I'm going to add down 4 minus 1 is 3. So now how are we going to write this out as our answer? Well, let's remember for a second. When we did long division, we would write x to the third divided by x. So let's start, write that. x to the third divided by x is x squared. So that's actually what this number is going to be. Now this isn't the exponent. This is your coefficient. This is the number that goes in front of the variable. So this is going to be 1x squared. This is going to be minus 2x. Remember, it's going to be in descending order. Plus 1 plus, now this is my remainder. So I'm going to write the remainder, you can't quite see it anymore, but over x plus 1. 3 over x plus 1. So let me clean this up a little bit. 
my answer is going to be, now I don't have to write this one, so it's going to be x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus my remainder of 3 divided by x plus 1. And that's how you do synthetic division. Let's use synthetic division. So first I wrote out my half a box and then I look here and I say well what's the opposite of a plus one? That's a minus one. Then I look here. Now just like in long division this has to be in descending order. Do you see that I'm missing an x? So I would need to rewrite this as x to the third minus 3x squared plus 0x plus 4. So those are the numbers that will go here. So this is an assumed 1. So 1, negative 3, 0, and 4. And just like before, we're going to bring this number straight down. Doesn't matter what the number is, it still comes straight down. And then we're going to multiply negative 1 times 1. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Now that number goes right here. I'm going to add down negative 3 plus negative 1 is negative 4. Then I'm going to multiply again. Negative 1 times negative 4. Negative 1 times negative 4 is 4. Remember a negative times a negative is a positive. So that number will go here. And once again remember I'm adding down. So 0 plus 4 is 4. Then I'm going to multiply again. Negative 1 times 4 Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4 this time. Remember, a negative times a positive is a negative. So negative 4 goes here. And when I add down, I get 0. So let's see what our answer looks like. So remember when we were doing long division, we take x to the third divided by x. Well, x to the third divided by x is x squared. So that's going to be what we're going to have here. Now remember, this isn't my power, this is my coefficient. So this will be 1x squared minus 4x, remember I have to go in descending order, plus 4. Now remain, my remainder is 0, so this actually turns out to be my answer. But let me write it a little bit clearer here. See, we don't need that 1 there. So my answer is going to be x squared minus 4x plus 4.